Mm, Ayo, Bola Tinubu did not remove well subsidy. So I would yes, like to call me. Uh, Rufai. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lapasa, my name is Rufai. My name is Rufai Hosseini. And uh, at first, patriotism okay. means. How, how, how are you? How are Very you? well, thank you. How are you too? You sir? How are you two? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm Good. Okay. Patriotism I'm means okay. supporting okay. your country at all times, but also supporting the government when they deserve yeah. it. Mr. Onokwasa, I put it to you that you came here to misrepresent the facts today as regards subsidy removal, President Tinubu, and now subsidy gone on Inauguration Day. And that was effectively pulling out subsidy. So you say he didn't remove subsidy, quoting the PIA law that had been there for a while, is misrepresentation of the facts. That's number one. Number two, since President Tinubu got, they, got they, in... They let me not, finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Secondly, hey, don't, don't, since he please, got, please, since please, got raise, in... Don't raise your voice at me, young man. <laughs> don't raise your voice at let me. Let me finish, Mr. Nopasa. Let if me you finish. Want, I'm your guest. So you will since President Tinubu got will in... You respect me. Since President Tinubu no, got in... I, I will the walk economy, out of your studio... If you raise your voice at me. Pax Christi, Nigerian Catholics. As always, Father Kevin Onyebuchiwugu has a thing or two to say about anything that is trending on social media. And this interview granted to Arise TV by Mr. Jesutega on Nokbesa is not going to be an exception. So the person who was interviewing him was Mr. Rufai Usini, and if you are a Nigerian, you will not tell me that you do not know Mr. Rufai Usini. Yes, he is that very prime time basketball king of hot bullets kind of questions, and he does not pretend about it. He he gives it to you, as we say, wotu wotu. <laughs> so so he does it and he does it really good so this in this interview between um, that took place uh, and at, at arise tv went viral of course a lot of people have been talking about it and father kevin has a thing or two to say he had a thing or two to say about this interview now if you watch the interview you would you would suspect a few of the things that father kevin ugu suspected as well and those things were what Father Kevin Ugu shared with us. First of all, it appeared as though there were some issues or some issues that were, you know, boiling underneath between Mr. Rufai Useni and Jesu Tega Onokwesa. You could tell that, hey, these guys have history. Okay, they have a lot of history. There's something that's going on on the ground, underneath, the surface of that interview okay as we say sometimes in nigeria things aren't always what they seem yes but anyway generally speaking they clearly we are not friends okay you will not watch that interview and conclude that mr nopesa and mr rufai Useni are friends definitely not they 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 had issues and those issues we are hewing and rolling over into the interview okay so the first point that father kevin ugu had to share about that interview the first opinion he had was that mr rufai clearly does not have patience with those who tell lies in public like they look into your face and they lie to you straight up they don't they're not hiding anything about it okay they they speak lies as though those things they are saying are truths and according to father kevin that is the problem with mr rufai because like he says he mr rufai cannot stand people who lie okay and i'm not sure that would be a problem if you want to look at it as a problem you will not really call that a problem father kevin ugu was basically saying that mr rufai has a problem and the kind of problem mr rufai has is he does not stand people who lie he doesn't stand people who cover up facts and make it look like those 
lies are truths. Okay, Mr. Rafai cannot stand it. However, his manner of approaching Mr. Nokpesa could have been a little bit antagonistic. You could clearly see, okay, he was literally throwing some hot bullets at this man intentionally, okay. And yes, according to Father Kevin Ugu, there were ways he could have handled it, he could have handled it better without making it look personal. It was like, oh, okay, he had some personal stuff with this guy, okay. They were clearly issues that he had with this man and he was using that interview as a smoke screen to attack Mr. Onokpesa. Okay, if you watch the interview, you could clearly tell that it was beginning to look like Mr. Um, Rufai Usaini was actually rude to this man. Okay, so, well, number three. Again, according to Father Kevin, Rufai clearly is a standard, a standard bearer for the truth. Okay, he clearly does not have any any qualms or any you know he doesn't have any problems dealing with people who stand for lies okay the only problem according to father kevin is that nigerians don't really care about the truth the truth is not what nigerians want to hear they would rather prefer people who will tell them lies okay now by nigerians here of course father kevin is referring to those people in government who feel oh they are benefiting from the government coffers they are benefiting from the things that the government is giving them so they are observing table manners basically okay so i mean like they say guinea pigs or sorry guinea fowls who are eating corn don't talk right so they are talking they are they are, they are eating so they don't talk they observe table manners okay anyway that's story for another day all right so they were basically observing table manners and these nigerians are the ones who will lie to your face and tell you that the the land is green when there is a drought and clearly there is a drought in, in nigeria the land is drying up and unfortunately these people misrepresent the facts they tell you the opposite of what exactly is going on in nigeria and it can be annoying it can really be annoying to listen to those kinds of people okay because it's like hey they don't go to the same market like you do they don't buy the same um they don't buy the same clothes like you do they don't drive the same cars so they don't care basically they don't care okay we are going through the heat in the kitchen and they have left it a long time ago because well hello so mr onokbasa was clearly saying the opposite exact opposite of what was going on in nigeria and it was pretty 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 sad to watch finally father kevin had this to say there is a difference between intelligence and wisdom sometimes you need to tell the truth straightforward other times you need to tell the same truth with stories but the point is you need to tell the truth okay so you have to understand that there's a difference a big difference between saying the truth okay and you know there's a big difference between how yes you know the truth but how you say the truth is what matters okay you can say the truth like john the baptist and you could end up with your head cut off or you could say the truth like nathan and have the person show remorse okay and then you can walk out of the palace with your head intact yes okay so do you think the way Mr. Rafael Hussein is going, he could possibly be putting himself in harm's way? Yes, okay, because he clearly has made enemies in high places, trust me. And that was basically what Mr. What Father Kevin Ugu was passing across, okay? Yes, you have intelligence, but wrap that intelligence up with wisdom. In other news, Catholic Diocese of Wukari has announced with great joy the release of very reverend father Thedeus Tehimbe. The statement of the statement from the Catholic Diocese of Wukari 
signed by Reverend Father John Jerome Lakai, Communications Director, says, reads in part, the Catholic Bishop, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Ukari, Most Reverend Mark M. Nzgwen, on behalf of the priests, religious and laity of the diocese, thanks and appreciates all, thanks and appreciates you all for your prayers and solidarity in this trying moment in the life of our young diocese. May the good Lord shower you, shower his blessings upon you and your families. So you will recall that on Sunday, the 29th of October, in the early hours of Sunday, the 29th of October, Father Thereus was kidnapped from his parish residence at um, Serikin Gudu in uh, um, the Catholic Diocese of Bukhari. And prayers were offered for his release. And then on the 30th of October, 2023, Father Thereus Tehimbe was released. So we join the Catholic Diocese of Bukhari in thanking God for sparing the life of Father Thereus and for granting him relief, release and freedom from his captors. And we pray for an end to the consistent kidnapping of Catholic priests in Nigeria. We ask God in his mercy and we ask we ask God in his mercy to deliver the country from acts of terrorism. Also praying that through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, the country will experience peace. Alright, so moving on from there, the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja had announced, uh, well, a missing priest. As weird as that sounds, yes, the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja has announced a missing priest, okay, in the person of Father Samson a Mokedi. He, from the letter of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, was reported missing. Basically, Father, Father Samson a Mokedi has been declared missing by the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja. The matter was reported to the civil authorities who have since commenced investigations and in the letter issued by the Catholic Archdiocese and Chancery, the Archbishop and the Auxiliary Bishop request for prayers and information, useful information, regarding the whereabouts of this priest, Father Samson Emokidi. It's quite strange that this is happening at this time and we and our hearts and prayers are with the entire Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja praying that this priest, Father Samson Emokidi, would return safe and sound. Okay, so also during the week we celebrated the birthday anniversaries of the Emeritus Bishops of Abakiliki and Enugu. I want to say hearty congratulations to Bishop Okoro and Bishop Buji, who both clocked um, who both clocked eighty three and uh, ninety two. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So I want to say happy birthday to Bishop Emeritus of Enugu Diocese. Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Buji and the Bishop Emeritus of Abakiliki, Most Reverend Dr. Michael Okoro. And we pray for God's blessings upon them as they continue to inspire the younger generation into the service of the Lord and into the service of the Church. We also celebrate with Cardinal. Francis Arinze, who clocked 91, we thank God for his life. and We say happy, happy birthday to the Cardinal Archbishop, His Eminence, Francis Cardinal Arinze. 
if you have been i mean he is a big he's a big daddy of the of the catholic church here in nigeria so i want to say hearty congratulations to him as he clocks 91. okay so we leave you with this video of the catholic archbishop of jos his grace most reverend dr matthew ishai aldu as he shows us how bishops and archbishops vest for mass particularly archbishops as he shows us as archbishops vest for mass shows us how and what an archbishop would wear when he's vesting for mass so thank you so much for watching <laughs>